that sound. So you want to come in here and take out this tray. This came in this harness. Unplugged it. So whatever that's connected to is making a noise. I'm assuming this is a fan of some sort. Here's the model I'm working with, PYE 22 PSK BSS. This kind of cafe style. Uh, this is, just, I think it's the Profile Series. The easiest thing you can do if your refrigerator is making that noise is go in and find your fruit vegetable drawer here and you want to remove the right side of it. Just lift up and pull out of that vegetable drawer and you want to go and find this little center plenum here. So see this piece here, this little uh, triangle cover. I'm gonna reach in and just grab the top, press down slightly and pop that off. And this clip catches on the back of that plenum. So there's our harness right there. There's two clips on each side. Just grab those two clips, press in, pull the harness out. If your noise goes away, then you know it's the evaporator fan. So at this point, you can plug it back in. Now don't go sticking your mitts in all the, the metal bits back there. We still have the refrigerator plugged in. Put your tray back in, go order the part, and when your part comes in, now you can start kind of disassembling your refrigerator. The point is to get the fan here when we do the actual replacement. That way, if it is broken, then we can replace the fan, and that keeps you from tearing your refrigerator down twice, right? So. We want to minimize the downtime here. So this is the replacement I ordered. It is a genuine GE replacement part WR60X26866. I went to the actual GE website and looked up the model number for this particular fridge and it gave me the part number for this particular fan. Now let's get this refrigerator moved out so we can unplug it and start taking it apart. We have our fridge unplugged. You can see there is no light when we open the doors. Gonna move some screws here. Here's one. There's two. That's gonna allow you to pull this off. And mine is dirty. You can't unplug it. I don't know if that we really need to unplug it, but we'll unplug it just to get it out of the way and give it a good cleaning as well. We're gonna take this tray out. So what we're trying to get access to is this evaporator access area here. We want to get the screws out of these sliders first to take these plastic pieces off because we've got to pull that back cover off and that's going to expose our evaporator coils. So I'm just going to go in here with my let's see. pull forward on those. Um, and we've got some ice back here, so that's not good. Get all the way up. Yep, there we go. We've got this cutout area here that fits just over this grommet here. You're going to want to take the screw out and then pull forward. Now we've got that exposed. What we're going to do is expose the evaporator coils. We're just going to remove these plastic screws in the back. There is at least, what, five of them, maybe six. This area here. Gently pry back and forward. This is the fan that we're looking at. This is the fan that plugs into this harness. That's your evaporator fan pulls the, the air over the coil. This fan over here could be your problem as well. So you only get access to that if you can take this black plastic cover, evaporator cover off. And that's the fan that works with your fresh food tray that could possibly be making noise, but we verified when we unplugged the evaporator fan, it was the one that was making the noise. So we're just gonna remove that, make sure that it uh, is broken and then we'll replace it. This one right now seems to be okay, so we're gonna leave that one alone. We know that fan was having a problem. There should not be any ice in here. Yeah, if you just grab up under the bottom there, you can grab the central shaft of the fan and uh, make sure your wiring harness is pulled slack. And you can slide that right out. 
Now it's just about fishing the wiring harness through those little clips. So we're just gonna slide this outer protective cover off. That's right, our old fan. Let's compare our new fan. So old on the left, new on the right. Pretty similar. So there's our two, two fans. All right, very similar. Here's where the cover goes, right? There's a little notch. There's a little notch right here where this uh, cover fits into, so you can't mess it up. Uh, make sure you don't get your harness captured in there. Let's get that out. You wanna make sure you get that cover over the corners, right? The fans should slide in there and these sides tabs should clip in. So you wanna slide that in, right? And those tabs slide underneath the styrofoam. So it's hard to get this wrong. Slide it in, route your wires through the little valley made for your, your wires. You wanna run it back through your little clip harness up under here and then we're gonna plug it in, all right? And so, I'm gonna make sure we get this right. All right, so we got her plugged in, all right? Now that we've got that plugged in, we can start reassembling everything, all right? So now it's really about the verification process. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna pull the refrigerator out a little bit so I can get back there and plug it in. All right, so notice now our internal lights on, our compressor's running, so the refrigerator is trying to catch up to the temperature that we have set. All right, so not too long after I actually reassembled the refrigerator, the fan is running now. So much quieter, hardly any noise. So what I'm gonna do now is um, See if you can hear it. Yeah. Much quieter than before. All right, so I feel confident that we fixed our refrigerator. It is as quiet as it has ever been, and thank goodness. If you like this kind of content, you can go back down in my playlist, and you can see how I fixed this integrated Keurig coffee maker in the exact same refrigerator. We'll see you next time.